What's up guys, it's Ozzy here. I'm just gonna cut right to the chase. This is my absolute favorite Marvel uh, six scale figure from Infinity War by far. This is the Iron Spider. Now, I saw the movie, I love the suit. Let's just quickly talk about the price. So it's $339 Canadian, $259 US. You can do a payment plan up to four separate payments, which is what I did just so my bank account doesn't take a huge hit. So, uh, yeah, pretty reasonable price, I guess, for a Hot Toys figure. So, let's look at the first picture here. So, he's got the gold arms, which I'm sure will 110% change because that's not what they look like in the movie. They had more of a color scheme like his suit did. But, uh, yeah, really cool first picture. Here's the second one. So, the eyes do light up. Um, the figure just looks really, really good. The paint and all the little details in it. And the robotic arms look awesome as well. And that's just kind of like the same picture. Uh, this one's kind of cool, so you can kind of balance it off of the arms, I'm guessing. And this pose looks pretty decent. And uh, you can definitely see the spider there. Everything just looks really, really cool. Um, this one, the eyes light up. It's kind of the same pose as the other one. It's got the little web shooters that are gold too, which is nice and different. Uh, there's another pose you can do. So he comes with a web, and you can obviously give him some web swinging poses. And you can even see on the bottom of the feet, they went full detail on everything, which is great. And this pose is pretty good as well, but I definitely want the robotic arms on uh, when I display mine. Uh, there is the Peter Parker face sculpt, so it looks really, really good. I gotta say, that looks a, like exactly like Tom Holland. It's, that's, that's awesome. So that is very good. There's another look at the face and the sculpt of the body. It looks awesome. Uh, there you go again. Kind of the same face they use every single time, but you can also have a mask or helmet, I guess. But uh, you can have him holding it, which I don't really think makes sense just because his suit is made out of nanobots and, like, it's metal. So not really sure how he's just holding on to the mask, but... Uh, that's one thing. Um, on to the next one here. So the face sculpt, he, it looks really, really good, guys. And I don't know why, but I'm thinking he almost looks like Eleven from Stranger Things. Leave a comment below if you guys think that too. Uh, there's the next picture here. So obviously light up eyes. And I think on the body right about here around the, the shoulder to chest area, pretty sure those light up too and like these little accents here and here around the, the waist and I think some on the web shooters as well. If they do, that'd be really, really awesome. There is another picture of the figure next to the Doctor Strange figure and I gotta say this looks exactly like from the movie. Uh, there's another really cool one, so this is obviously from the movie when he's flying around on Titan, but, uh, it's gonna be a little hard to pose him like that. Uh, there's the next one. This one looks really, really cool, and it's definitely doable to pose at, on your, on your own. Uh, it looks really, really cool, nice dynamic pose. This one is one of my absolute favorites, web swinging with the robotic arms hanging out. And, uh, this one's pretty good as well. You can definitely see all the little details on the robotic arms, and that's really cool. And I think you can adjust these to go inwards and outwards. The little bottom spike of the arms, too, which is cool. Same kind of picture. This one is a pretty good picture as well. You can see all the little divots inside of the mask. Uh, this one is just to reenact something that happened in the trailer. And him flying around. Uh, this The paint job is crazy. The metallic red and gold and everything looks amazing. Uh, there's another picture to kind of make a nice dynamic pose. Um, this one, very, very good as well. You can definitely see all the details because they brightened up the picture and it looks really, really good. The web shooter detail looks awesome as well. And uh, there's the different faces you can use to give them different expressions with the eyes there. And uh, next up, you can just see like... Uh, the Tom Holland face, you can see the light up eyes there, adjustable eyes that you can actually just put onto the actual head, uh, the robotic arms, some webs, some different hands, and you also get that nice stand there where it says Avengers Infinity War with Iron Spider written on it, which is really, really cool. And I think we're back to the beginning. So overall, really, really cool figure. I believe it is the most popular one too. I think a lot and a lot of people really want this figure, including myself so that's why it was the very first one I actually ordered from Infinity War 
And I think it's going to be a great investment. It's going to look really, really cool. All the stuff that lights up and overall the figure just looks awesome. And it's definitely a standout in my man cave. So honestly, guys, I think it's a great buy. I'm guessing it'll probably become sold out at one point just because of how popular it is. So make sure you guys order and pre-order yours quickly. And also, just thanks for watching this video in general. And if you haven't already, make sure you like the video, possibly even subscribe, and make sure you order your Iron Spider. And I'll see you guys next time.